almost set up. See if you can't get that security network running, Mako. Sure thing, Braden. We'll be... Uh, hey, now. Hey, indeed. The main attraction is here. Team, this is the girl we're pinning all our hopes on. Best shot I've ever seen in Nerves of Steel. She's great hunt material, all right. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? My team. I like the sound of that. Get used to the idea. To win the great hunt, you'll need support, structure, and intel. Let's do things official-like. This is Mako. A little genius I picked up years ago in Nar Shut Up. She provides intel and tech. Hope you're as good as the old man says. And the big bruiser is Jory. He handles the heavy lifting and provides security for a base of operations. Atungi ma chechu i kutsi nankihe. Nice to meet you both. Let's get to work. All right. Enough introductions. Down to business. We're here because the Great Hunt has been called. Little Mako is the most rabid fan of Hunter history this side of Geonosis. And even she doesn't know exactly what the Great Hunt entails. I do know the names of every Great Hunt winner, though. Bloodworthy, the Defenestrator, Jewel and Nightbringer. Every bounty hunter who's won a Great Hunt went on to massive glory and riches. Which is why we're here. What's our first move? Here's what I know so far. The Great Hunt has two groups, the Mandalorian Elite and Freelance Bounty Hunters sponsored by influential crime lords. There's no time to make you a Mandalorian. That means you need a sponsor. Nemro the Hut runs this stinking little town. I've got just enough pull with that gangster to get you an introduction. Mako, scan for every bounty in the area. I want the nastiest, most brutal, untouchable scum you can find. I'm on it, Braden. One nasty character coming up. We need to get you situated as a big-time hunter, at least as far as the locals know. Then we contact Nemro. Mako will plant rumors about your off-world exploits. But you have to take down someone impressive and local to sell the reputation. You find a target, I'll take it down hard. How's that scan coming, Mako? Found something. Check this out. Vex, Corellian. Champion quickdraw artist, wanted for robbing 15 Imperial military pay stations. Perfect. This Vex is either a madman or a glory hound, and he's obviously dangerous. Says here Vex has a safe house in the bad part of town, right in the heart of the madness. That'll be fun. Nemro the Hut's enemy took over part of this town. It's dangerous poking around in there, but it's your best shot. Raid Vex's safe house and look for something that might help us track him down, but be ready for anything. Excuse me, but I have a safe house to shoot up. Be safe out there. Hey guys, Novik here, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of the Bounty Hunter playthrough. It's been a long time coming. I've been hyping up this playthrough for quite a while, actually. And uh, it's about time we actually begin. Actually, before we get started, let's talk to this guy right here, Zentiel, because I can actually end up getting some, uh... Hey, little girl. Aren't you just the cutest thing to ever pick up a blaster? Yes. Yes, she is. All right. You've got basic powers of observation. Any other useful skills I should know about? <laughs> if only, my little lovely. But I'm a taken and guarded man. My partner Zinni and I train and supply bounty hunters. Got a little area to test out new gear. The whole bit. You want to really impress Brayden? Go let Zinni show you what she knows. Sweet. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this has been a long time coming. Uh, coming. I've been uh, <laughs> really happy up this uh, up this playthrough because uh, I just really like the look of this character. I love the the style, just the face style, and then just the overall gear style. I really just... it fits, and I've pretty much got my mind set on what I'm going to be doing for this playthrough. And what that is, is I'm going to be... well, A, I've only got like eight days left of my subscription, so I'm going to be playing the crap out of this game. Um, before I have to go and resubscribe because it'll be a while before I'm able to resubscribe and a while being like a, like a few weeks at best um, Actually about a week until I can resubscribe so I'm gonna try to get as many videos as I possibly can recorded uh, So I mean if you whoops if you pay attention to the, the little thing down here the time if you follow my cursor all the way down here, you'll see it's 4.30 a.m. I got up early to start this. Uh, ooh. And we leveled up to level 3 just by doing that. That was beautiful. That's why I like doing that. That was like the only non-main quest you're going to be seeing in this playthrough. Uh, and per to, per, 
sorry, it's 4.30 in the morning, I can't suck. Uh, per tradition from what I've been doing in this playthrough, or just in general on Star Wars The Old Republic play uh, playthroughs, I've been doing pretty much only story and none of the side quests in the game just because the side quests are really not important when you have the 12 times experience boost, which only lasts until uh, Rise of the Heart, uh, no, not Rise, uh, Ugh, I can't even remember. I can never remember the expansion's name. Uh, it's the Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion. Um, and then once that happens, there's no more 12 times experience. So I'm trying to get as many stories as it actually interests me done with on the channel. Uh, and this will probably be the last one that I actually start up. So, I mean, we just finished the main story for the Sith Inquisitor. Uh, I'm doing the story for uh, the Jedi Knight, who is a uh, female to Gruta. And we just, we finished chapter one, which, uh, chapter two, or season two, I guess, should be starting up, uh, probably tomorrow, or after, a day after this video. Um, and then, we, of course, we've got this one that's starting up as well, so, I mean, after we finish season two of, season two and season one of this one, so season one of the Bounty Hunter and season two of the Jedi Knight playthrough, um, as soon as we finish those, uh, season four will start up for the, uh, um, for the Sith Inquisitor, with, may, maybe with my, the character I've been using, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but anyways, let's see what Brayden has to say to us. I'm just saying I want to go on some missions. My blaster aim is pretty good. Anything's better than sitting around with you in our gear. No offense, big guy. Hey, look who's back. Had to go out there, girl. Find anything? Vex left a data pad at his safe house. Great. Give it over and I'll see what I can make of it. The pleasure's all mine, big guy. Well, look who's in a generous mood today. Hey, Braden. How was Nemro's palace? We getting our hunter in to see this hut? I've laid the groundwork, but we're not there yet. What have you got? A data pad from Vex's safe house. Crack the encryption in record time. Check out that last entry. Our boy Vex keeps detailed records. There's a receipt here for a shuttle ticket he bought today. We'll have to move fast. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. He's a champion gunslinger. Completely ruthless. What do you say, Hunter? You ready to take down Vex all by yourself? I'm always ready. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. If you head out now, you'll catch Vex at the shuttle port before he escapes. Bring back Vex's ID tags as proof that you're the one who got him. Anything else he carries is yours to keep. Uh, don't you think it'd be a little bit more effective if I brought back his head? Oh my gosh, level 5 already. Jeez, we are leveling up fast. You know, I'm totally okay with that. Actually, let's move the combustible gas cylinder over here. Activate that. Everything's a okay for right now. Um, but just some ground things. I cannot, not necessarily ground rules, but just kind of like some things that are going to be happening with this playthrough. Uh, and those things being, uh, I'm not going to be predominantly choosing any specific sided choices, light side or dark side. I'm pretty much just gonna kind of choose what I personally would think would be uh, an interesting uh, way to go about things, and that's that's pretty much been a very requested thing on the channel uh, for this playthrough specifically because I've been hyping it up and people are like, oh, you should do it this way because uh, if you guys know me, if you guys have been watching this stuff, um, have watched all. Why is that so? Why is that so loud? And we're not even in there. Um, but uh, but if you guys know me and uh, how I like to play my characters, I usually go pretty evil or just full light side depending on who I'm playing and what faction I am, so on and so forth. Um, but I mean, with the bounty hunter, it's really just uh, it, it's really just her call. All in all, like it it doesn't really matter too much what she does. If that makes any sense. Um, as far as like choices, because uh, with the Sith and the Jedi, it your gear can kind of depend on what kind of uh, alliance, allegiance, or alignment, or whatever it's called, 
whatever rating that is, you know, whatever rating you have for that. Um, but with the bounty hunter and stuff like that, it's not really dependent on that. So, uh, just kind of choosing, like I said, whichever one seems interesting to me at the time. This is also pretty much how the characters I'm planning on having uh, Alexis look for the entirety of the playthrough. So if you don't like the way she looks, or you don't even like the fact that I'm playing as female, a stop being such a uh, such a homophobe. Even though I'm not like not homophobe, but like don't don't be afraid to experience new things. A and B. I don't care what you think. This is how I'm gonna have my character look, because I like it. Okay. The only reason I brought up the uh, the whole if you don't like me playing as a female thing, get over it thing. It's because I was playing Wildstar and someone had a comment like that. They're all like, hey, uh, I didn't know you were gay for playing as a female. Just play as your own gender. It's weird as hell. It's not weird at all. Actually, I know a lot of guys who would prefer to play as females than, than males. Straight males that would rather play as a female in a video game. But that's just a, I mean... Way more interesting, way better customization, and then of course the girl's body. That's that's another. That's always another reason. That's always a factor. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Uh, but I mean, other than that, I mean, we're here to have a good time and kind of figure out the story. This is one of the only stories I haven't actually played through. I've been specifically saving uh, my experience for this story. I've played, you know, a good portion of it. Um, and everything that I've played of this story has been recorded on the channel. I don't remember, I, I pretty much hardly remember anything other than the, uh, the tutorial world, so here, this world, this is like the only thing I actually remember of this game. So, uh, keep in mind that a lot of these things will be pretty surprising for me. I'll be making spontaneous choices and not knowing what's good or what's bad for the situation, but I'll be making those choices nonetheless and it'll be fun. Of course, speaking to Vex, kind of wish I should, I should probably just take his head instead, you know? Instead of just taking his stupid dog tags, but I mean, yeah, whatever. I mean, if if the dog tags are gonna prove anything, then fine. Let's well, just so be it then. Huh? What's this? A lawman of sorts? Lawwoman? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by a brute enforcer. You break imperial law, you pay the price. Ha! <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh no. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Ah! Cheater! Sorry, bud, you just weren't fast enough. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm the ultimate bounty hunter. I don't see how you could ever be quick enough to take me down, or even skilled enough to take me down. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Ultimate bounty hunter gear. I don't care what you say. Actually, I have some other gear, like, stored with a different character that could probably help her out. Or, well, not help her out, but give her a completely di different, like, super bulky aesthetic. But, I mean, I plan on probably going, uh, mercenary, uh, the arsenal subclass to be completely specific. Or, the, I guess, the arsenal tree to be completely specific. I would choose power tech... Usually, but I mean, dual wielding pistols is way cooler than just single wielding a pistol and kind of being more so of a tank. And I mean, I, I know the, some of these trees allow you to do DP, DPS. Like, the, there's one healing and then there's one tank and then the rest are all damage and DPS. But, uh, I mean, dual wielding, man. Plus, I get some self-healing abilities on the way as well. Uh, which is kind of how I built my other character, um, my Sith sorcerer which is the uh, sith inquisitor playthrough if you guys have been watching that uh, which isn't necessarily my favorite character but i mean i've done some dps with the mercenary and i know the mercenary has really good dps so i'm kind of wanting to stick with that because i i prefer to play dps and i know a lot of people play dps and mmos but i mean i'd like to think i'm decent at it not necessarily the best but at least kind of decent Hey, old timers, I'm Jory. Brayden. What happened? Is the old man Somebody is going to pay for this. No. The old man's really dead. But but he oh, damn it.
Wait. You had something to do with this. Are you crazy? Why would I kill them? I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. And I just can't believe he's gone. It's never easy seeing friends die, Mako. I just never imagined. But I can handle this. I can. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Blast it. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move and you're dead. Now, if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Tarot Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you. Tarot Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Viberblade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta, Kasuyali Kunira, Kanki Kum. You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up and comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! Too late, old man. That scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. The big mouth running the show claimed he was Tarot Blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Tarot Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. Unbelievable. He seems like such a likable fellow. Apparently, he crossed his fellow Mandalorians. No one knows exactly how or why, but everyone sure knows the results. Tarot Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. I'm here to win the Great Hunt. That hasn't changed. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This will take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. Should be enough for two burials. I didn't know them well, but I'd still like to pay my respects. No time. You've got to get to Nemro fast. Brayden would understand, and Jory would insist. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now you'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the HUD. Awesome, and by awesome I mean not awesome, because I mean, oh, teammates dead and everything is oh it's not a good situation. It's not the best. It's not the ideal situation, but I mean, kind of just gotta gotta live with what we got. You know what I mean? Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. Can't even sell that. Uh, but anyways, that's gonna conclude the very first episode. I know it's shorter than what I usually do. I uh, just kind of want to see. 
how this stands before I continue. I mean, I'm obviously going to continue. I just want to see your guys' overall excitement. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to see more of this more frequently. I may do one episode a day. I may do two. We'll see how things go. Um, or I may just do them every other day. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section below, like I just said. And I will see you guys all in the next episode.